proxy. It's a uh, free map making tool. So when you first go there, you'll uh, they'll offer you a chance to play with it. Uh, and basically what you end up doing is clicking a link, giving them your email or signing in with Google or Facebook or something. So um, once you're in the system, you're going to have the chance to create a new map. Now notice it says here you can start with the template. I strongly urge that you don't do that because it'll put a whole bunch of stuff in your map that you don't want. So I'm just going to create a new map from uh, blank here. And um, I'm going to make this a lesson I'm going to do about Oregon. So I'm going to type in Oregon USA and go go. Uh, and before I add any points here, uh, let me just show you, right off, it offers you a chance to add a point, but I'd actually like to show you how to do it with categories. So even though I could just add a point and type in University of Portland and drop an icon there, we're going to start with categories. So I'm going to go up to categories and tags here. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to have a category we're going to add right here. See, it defaults to something called My Places, but I'm going to get rid of that in a minute. So we're going to do a category called Parks, and then I'm going to go right here to choose an icon, and I'll try searching on Parks and see what I get, and I get this thing here, which is, I guess, works for me. So uh, I could add uh, a little bit of descriptor to the category, like I could go uh, enjoy the beauty of nature. And so now I have a category called parks. Now I want another category um, called the physical features. So I'm going to add another category called physical features, and I could... Um, I could add a description there. I'm going to choose an icon. Uh, I think if I put in physical features, it's not going to really do me much good. So I'm going to put in mountain or something like that and uh, get something that looks like that. So that'll work for me and I could save. So now I got parks that, and the last one I'm going to do is historical sites. So I'm going to hit the plus right here to add a new category and uh, historical sites. I'm going to choose an icon and I'm just going to type in the word history and see what I get. If there's anything, I don't think we want a Mayan ruin here. So I don't know that any of these really work, but let's just put the uh, hourglass. So now I've got these uh, and this one, I don't really need any more because I'm not really going to use it. So I'm just going to click delete. So uh, I save it and you'll see I now have a map up here. Okay. And I'm going to close this box out. So I'm just going to concentrate on the map. I'm going to start adding places. So uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start with... Uh, some parks and I'm going to add a point. So notice it's defaulted to parks. If I wanted to add a physical feature, I'd make that active historical site, but I'm doing parks. So I'm going to put this in here. Now notice that it suggests things for me that it knows where it is. So you want to pick that one and I go save and close. Okay, and now I've got a point. I'm going to add another one here. Uh, and that's going to be add a point. We're still on parks and Smith Rock State Park. I could save and add another. And this one I'm going to add. Uh, actually, this is going to be a physical feature. It's going to be Klamath Basin National Refuge. Save and add another. We're going to do Coos uh, Bay like that. And save and add another. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some historical sites. 
So I want to click that and make that active. And I go Fort Dell uh, Homestead. And the last one is another historical site up here. And I save and close. And notice what I now have. I now have a map. Uh, and you'll notice that if I were to go to my list of points here and click on any of these, you'll see that I get uh, some nice visuals. Notice you can also click through, and these are this is just basically using Google source materials. If I wanted to, I could go in and edit this, and I could, uh, for example, if I wanted some text, to talk about uh, Klamath Basin and the, um, you know, the sort of ecology of it. I could put some stuff in there. I could, uh, I could add a uh, link and just highlights. I've got some text and then I want to refer to something else. So I could add a link and so forth. Um, and, you know, I could upload my own photos if I wanted to, okay? So um, we're looking at the map. Uh, and finally, uh, we're going to want to share this map, OK? And in order to share it, I'm going to click up here, um, oh, to share map. <laughs> there you go. Now, if I wanted to collaborate, I could, let's say I was working with students that had access and we were all going to work on one map, then uh, I could actually um, share it this way down here with a link. Um, and, um, but let's say I'm not going to collaborate. What I really want to do is I want to embed it on our website. So in this particular case, we're going to use what's called an embed code. And we're going to go right here, and you'll see there's a share with a, this embed code in a website or an app, okay? So I'm going to copy that code, and I'm going to go over here to this post I'm working on, because I'm doing a lesson on the geography, and I need to put this in. Now, if I try and put this in just as text, excuse me, uh, if I put this in and Let's, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. Okay. Let's do it the way I should have done it. We're going to go here, and I'm going to type in the word custom HTML. And I'm going to paste that embed code, and then I'm going to preview it in a new tab. And you will see... that I now have my map embedded into a post. And I can go into the list view here, and I can start scrolling down through the various sites, and I can go through the photos, et cetera, et cetera. And there's other things I can do with it too. So hopefully that'll be enough to get you started. Good luck with it. Bye.